Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and welcome to this niche long form editor tutorial. So, it's been a while since I did any videos about niche or really any content related to niche, and that's because uh, it's been a while since there were any really significant updates. Um, they, they added new templates here and there, but um, the, the the core um, kind of functionality of the of the app hasn't changed in a while but that just changed uh, so they just introduced uh, like a day or two ago the new long form editor which is uh, pretty cool I think it still has definitely has some work to be done on it um, but I wanted to make a video kind of exploring it a little bit and taking a look at what we can do with it um, so basically this is the niche tool for creating long form documents such as blog posts and so that's what we're going to take a look at today is how to write a blog post with niche using the long form editor so this should be uh, uh, might be a bit of a longer tutorial we'll see how long it goes um, but let's get right into it so I think we'll just do something fairly simple and straightforward for the name we'll, we'll do what is cryptocurrency and just say an article about what crypto is. I don't think that the description is really important for anything. So just hit save. It opens up a new document. And so now uh, the main difference, they, they've, they've improved a number of things about this, but the main difference is that now you can use templates in line in the document. And it's got some examples of how that works here. So if we go to, if we just, Go to the templates over here and say show it's got a few examples we're going to use the blog post one so i can view it and you can see this is what it looks like and then i can copy that and paste it in or i can just uh i think if i hit copy it just puts it straight in or no it just copies it so now i can paste it in and you notice that now this this variables button pops up here and that's because there are now variables in the document um, and so the way that these, uh, I'm still I'm still figuring this out myself, but I guess the way that these work is basically you create you have your square brackets which contain the template, and then double pointy brackets are uh, contain the topic or the variable, and then um, then you have a line a vertical line, and then you have the name of the template that you want to use. Uh, so this is pretty cool. Um, it's, it's a little bit less streamlined than I would like it. It takes a little bit longer to get things set up, but once you have it set up, you can write a lot of content really quickly. Um, and you can actually set it up pretty quickly because when you click on variables here, uh, you can just fill them, fill them out really fast and easy. Um, so the way that I want to do this is actually to delete these right here for now. I'm going to bring them back in a minute. Then we'll hit variables, and the topic is what is cryptocurrency. And I hit apply, and you can see it's going to put it right into the variable places here. And now when I hit auto write, it's going to write me an intro about what is cryptocurrency and a blog outline about what is cryptocurrency. So let's try that. All right, so we have Bitcoin is the world's first peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency. Unlike traditional fiat currencies, Bitcoins are generated by complex algorithms rather than by governments. The Bitcoin protocol prevents tampering of the money supply, which addresses the double spending problem. This protocol also ensures that each Bitcoin is spent only once. All is confirmed by each Bitcoin transaction. So that's uh, okay. Could be better. And then we have the the blog outline, which are you know some points for. Uh, potential subheadings, which are cryptocurrency is a virtual currency. The most well, okay, so these aren't very good. Um, so I think I want to redo that entire thing. So I'm just going to get rid of this and then um, paste this in here again, get rid of this again, and then go to variables and apply and auto write. And we'll just try it again. All right, so this this one worked a lot better this time. Um, it gave me some good uh, some good headings that I can use here. Um, 
Um, but the I don't, I don't like the intro that it gave me, so I'm going to get rid of all this. And I'm just going to try creating my own template. So we're, we'll do um, what is cryptocurrency, then the vertical line, and we'll say Ada or Aida, so that hopefully it will use the Aida template to write my intro. Cryptocurrency is a new type of payment that is gaining traction. And it is a form of electronic cash that uses peer to peer network to facilitate instant payments. Cryptocurrencies exist independently of any central. So I think this is a bit better than what we had before. So we'll just change this to our title. I hope that they remove this highlight. I really don't like that. <laughs> Oh, there we go. I can get rid of it. Okay, cool. Um, so now we have what is cryptocurrency? We'll just make this a title. Something like that. And so now we have our, our title, our intro. And um, now we can use the rest of the blog post template. So I'm just going to copy this again and I'm going to paste it down here. This time I'm going to delete the first two. And it's going to be, um, take this, put it in the place of this variable, take this, put it in the place of this variable, Take this, put it in the place of this variable. Oh darn, I forgot that I need to, oh, I'll just do this quickly. So you can see that I'm not doing this in the most effective way, but that's because I'm really just, um, you know, learning how this all works. All right, so now we have this kind of set up. And Got some additional points down here, which we will use in a minute if this works the first time. And now we'll just hit auto write and it should fill out all these templates for me. Okay, so now we have our what is cryptocurrency subheading with some text. We have our what is Bitcoin subheading with uh, an explanation of that. And we have our what is Ethereum subheading with an explanation of that. And then we have our conclusion. All right, so that's actually not bad. And so if I want to finish writing, if I want to write all these sections as well, which I do, then I just need to um, come in here, view this, and then I can just take this part, so that's all I need. Put that in the middle here. And then we just, this in here, grab this one, replace this variable, grab this one, replace this variable, and now we'll try uh, running the auto write again, see if that all works. All right, so yeah, these these all actually wrote me uh, some decent looking uh, paragraphs. And now we are up to almost 500 words, and it's only been about 10 minutes of me muddling through this. So that's pretty impressive. That's probably uh, more, more than you could write and faster with uh, the old version of this, of this uh, app. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, let's go back to documents now and we'll try we'll try out this SAS comparison one just to see how that goes. So we'll go back to documents and create a new one. And we'll say, um, let's see, what SAS tools do we want to compare? We'll compare um, to landing page builder, or so to funnel software, I guess. So we'll try uh, click funnels versus unbounce for landing pages. Best landing page builder. Okay, so now we've got a new document and I'm just gonna come over here to templates again and I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna take a look at the SAS comparison one. Okay, so it's pretty complex, but we'll copy it, we'll put it in here. And then if I hit variables, we'll see app one will be click funnels, app two will be unbounce. Um, feature one will be um, ease of use. We'll say unbounce is the winner for that. Feature two will be integrations. We'll say click funnels is the winner for that. And that's all I need apparently. So now we just put those in and now we will auto write this and see how it does. It's actually remarkably fast. That's um, the setup is a little bit time consuming, but once you actually get it writing, it writes very, very fast. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, so let's see here. We've got uh, ClickFunnels versus Unbounce. Which landing page builder is right for you? That's a solid headline. Then we've got the intro. Difference between ClickFunnels and Unbounce. ClickFunnels and Unbounce are apps, blah, blah, blah. So what should you use? This is, uh, this is solid stuff. What ClickFunnels software can do. ClickFunnels is a marketing tool, website building tool, and sales funnel builder. And we have ease of use. down here and then click funnels is the winner for integrations how integrations work on click funnels integrations is a feature on click allows marketers to add pre-built integrations into their software and third-party services. Okay, that auto makes sense to me. All right, so again, we got, we got 500 words really, really fast that time. So that's pretty cool. Um, So I think the, the key here, the key to using this effectively is going to be to build your own templates um, that do exactly what you want. So like if I, uh, one, one, that, uh, one example would be like a blog review template. Um, we could make a blog review template that would write every blog review following the same kind of format. And since we know what we want to include in typical blog review, we'd be able to draft out like the first 500 to 1,000 words really, really fast using this. And then we could write from there ourselves 
and also use the uh, the autocomplete tool, which is still here. Um, so let's see now, let's say I want to write a conclusion. We'll go um, conclusion. ClickFunnels is more flexible than Unbounce. I don't think that's necessarily true, but we'll, we'll just go with it. Um, and then we'll say conclusion, because that's the template that I want it to use. And we will auto write. And now we have, in summary, ClickFunnels and Unbounce are both great platforms. ClickFunnels is more flexible than Unbounce. ClickFunnels is a flexible online marketing platform that allows you to build everything from simple landing pages to complex sales funnels. With ClickFunnels, you can build funnels with up to five steps and also choose from 167 different exit intent pop-ups. That's a lot of different exit intent pop-ups. Um, Unbounce apparently has only seven steps and two exit intent pop-ups. So I don't think any of that's true. Um, but it's uh, it's pretty interesting that it's uh, to see this progress that they're making with this app. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that. So so basically that is uh, how the the new long form editor for niche works. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything that you'd like me to see explore with this going forward. Um, I'm definitely open to doing some more niche tutorials and to delving into this tool a little bit more, especially as it adapts. I know that they're planning on adding more templates here and hopefully hopefully there will be an ability to create and save your own templates because that would be really cool. All right, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next video.